There's a whole lot to explore when anime comes to your door. What's inside the newest Lutaku box? What incredible intro, yells the crowd. Thank you. If you want to know more about Lutaku, you can head over to www.lutaku.com. But basically, in a nutshell, let me just sum this up for you. Every single month, Lutaku delivers to you a selection of anime-themed items right to your door. That can include uh, things like t-shirts, things like posters, things like statues, and things like other collectibles. I know you're already excited. Well, we're going to go ahead and get this opened up, and you guys can get a gander at some of the things that you would expect to find if you subscribe to Lutaku Box. I guess before we do anything, it will involve me to have having to cut the seals on either side. There may also be a seal in the middle, but we'll find out soon enough. Just cut that seal like that, just like that, like a hot knife through butter. And yes, there is also a seal right down below. I should have known this by now, having opened up enough of these in my heyday. So like I said, every single month, we've already run through the checklist, posters, uh, t-shirts, statues, collectibles. Let's see what we got in store for us this go around. For starters, we have ourselves a t-shirt. One of the things I just mentioned in our checklist. I'm going to open up the t-shirt because I don't really know what it is yet. But we'll know soon enough. What do we got here? We have... Well, we have a gloved individual. Two gloves. And it looks like he's summoning fire. I'm sure I will know soon enough what this is. Right now, I currently draw an absolute blank. Somebody, I'm sure, will tell me. Thank you for that, by the way. And then on the back, we've got also the same logo that's featured on the gloves. I want to dare say Dragon Ball. I'm probably going to be completely wrong by that statement. A nice-looking T-shirt, though. Even if I don't know necessarily what it is just yet, that is one of the benefits of having the card inside, is the fact that it'll actually tell us what, those, what the items are that we're going to be pulling out of this box. I'm going to put the t-shirt right there. Further examining our contents, we seem to have ourselves Goku Black, the Super Saiyan Rose. This is a, B, a, a B W F G or B is that a B or is that a G or a C? That might actually be a C. Oh, Colosseum. Ah, should have had a V8. B W F C standing for Ban Presto World Figure Colosseum. This is a statue, one of the many statues that we've gotten from uh, the Lutaku box. is quite a plethora, if I dare use such a complicated word as that, uh, to uh, describe the amount of things that we've actually gotten inside these boxes. Quite a bit of statues on a regular basis. Cut the taping on both sides. After all, I am going to be building this for you guys. And opening up the top flap. I seem to have one little bit of stubborn tape. You need to go away, stubborn tape. Let's just get rid of you quickly. There we go. You ever, you ever have that happen where you go to cut tape and you know where the tape is, but you just, several swipes later, you're completely missing where that tape actually is. It's even worse if somebody's watching you open something. Open up the contents. It seems to me like we've got ourselves, I don't know if those are supposed to be scythes. Let's get those off. Do our best not to break them. Just take that off like that. We're going to put that to the side. And then, of course, we've got the contents. We need to get these out also as well. And I don't want to, of course, break anything. So I'm just going to rip that, that cardboard just away from itself so I can get access to the rest of the statue. Quite the colorful pink hair on this Goku. Open up the plastic. There's part of the statue right there. Don't worry, we'll get into more of that. Also, we get ourselves a display base. We can make short work of the plastic around that. There also seems to be another supporting stand. Yes, we can also make short work of that. And we'll go ahead and take the base off as well. Or out as well. There seems to be a printing on it. it says BWFC. We've been there. We've already done that. Band Presto World Figure Coliseum. Go ahead and we'll put that all together as well. Anything else in here? We can put the garbage certainly in there. Try to clean up our clean up our workspace as we go through everything. Go ahead and very carefully, very carefully open these up because I do feel like these might be fragile. Two halves to a whole. It looks like these two parts come together to make one giant scythe. Now, I don't know if you would call it a scythe, a sickle. You may even call it something completely different. 
Uh, there is what looks to be a black and white version. We so happen to land ourselves with the color version. The sculptor on this is Jim Gonzalez. That's a neat looking statue though. Let's go ahead and put this together after all. Now there are a couple of pieces that have to go together for the base. That goes right there if I'm not mistaken. Like that. And then this will go... I don't know if it goes like this. I would imagine... I would imagine... I guess it does go like this. I guess that is to hold the scythe. Okay, so we can go ahead and take him. And there is a connector point on the back, a big hole, a noticeable hole. Won't be noticeable for much longer. We can attach that to his back, just like that. Kind of makes him in a levitating pose. And then from there, we can go ahead and take this giant sickle, which connects together like that. Now, I don't know if, I don't know if I'm supposed to, maybe I'm supposed to put this in the handle first. And then this is supposed to go through his hand. I'm going to try that. Having done this enough in my heyday, this is at not my first rodeo. I kind of know what to expect when it comes to many of these statues. So I'm going to put that through his hand first. I'm going to connect the other end like that. And then I'm not even I'm not even touching, it seems, this this post. This post is serving no purpose just yet. And I feel like I've attached this wrong. Unless this, I really think like this is supposed to be down here, but that's not going to work with his, it's not going to work with his hand. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm warping it by, I feel, by pulling that down. Uh, there are no instructions, not that I can see, so I'm really only going by the diagram here to kind of help me. But I feel like this should be, I feel like this hole, this slot right here, should sit right in here. Well, you know what, let's try this again. This, I think, should sit here, if I'm not mistaken, in there. I mean, it, it fits the groove like it should. Maybe I've put this stand on the wrong way. Although that would be facing the opposite way. Let's try it. Let's, we're here anyways. You're not going anywhere, I hope, right? I hope. Uh, no, it, it only goes one way. There's the shape right there. There's the opening. It only goes the one way. So I guess I had it right the first time around. I don't know why for the life of me it's not connecting up to the post. The little support frame is serving no purpose right now. Even if I put it down here, it won't line up to the hand unless I bend the hand. And I'm not going to do that either. Well, for what it is, I do have it in place. Might be receiving as we speak some yelling comments of people telling me I've put this in the wrong place. But again, like I can't seem to line up where the blade of that scythe seems to be. I think it's supposed to be from here, it's supposed to connect into here. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. Having though a look, a close up look, there it is right there Goku Black. Nice looking head portrait. Very colorful colors consistent with the Bandai uh, Band Presto lineup. I really do like the pose that they've got him in. Would have liked if the leg, maybe one of the legs were straighter, so it just didn't seem like he was just completely levitating. Would have liked a little bit more dynamic pose in the lower half. But I must say the coloring, as always, seems to be on point. Really nice, nice job done there. Just again, wish that that could have connected better than what it is. I guess it's not going to cause stress or damage. I'm just more concerned, completely perplexed as to why that just doesn't fit into place. Uh, we've got a few other things. I guess I can already take the liberty of pulling those all out. And then, of course, we've got ourselves the card insert, which I'm curious right now for that T-shirt. Oh, it was Full Metal Alchemist. I should have known. I wouldn't have known. This is the Roy Mustang Lutaku limited edition exclusive t-shirt. That's what it was. Uh, once again, low looking at the statue for that Band Presto uh, Super Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Super Band Presto World Figure Coliseum, Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. That's a whole mouthful. Yeah, I don't know how that scythe is supposed to go into his hand. He's facing completely the opposite direction. I don't know. Anyways. The next thing we have is a smaller Dragon Ball. This is Adverge 9, a movie special, much more super stylized. We're going to go ahead and get this opened up and see what we got inside. It comes with a display stand. Do I, need, I feel like it's almost excessive to be using a knife right now for this. 
anyways, I'm gonna open that up, pull that out, pull this out, there we go. And the base, I'm guessing, just goes to the back of its legs, like that. Sort of just like a support strut for the figure to stand on. I'm not really sure the name of this character. I mean, I'm looking at the list here. And if the list is correct based on their ordered sequence, maybe this is... Well, it's not Sun Goku. Now, see, these are all in different orders. I want to say Vegeta, but I feel like I would be completely wrong by that. Some assistance, of course, would be required on your part, viewing audience. Nice little small miniature version. Like I said, very stylized in its design. And it does have the clear stand that it stands from. It's not as impressive, granted, yes, as the Super Saiyan Rose Goku Black. But still pretty cool. I like that. Along with that, for this month's offering, we did get ourselves the Glow in the Dark Lutaku Evangelion. This is the exclusive limited edition enamel pin release of 414 individually numbered, and this is the EVA-01 Berserk. A nice little enamel pin that I can add to my collection. Uh, last, but certainly not least, we've got ourselves a box. Now, on the front of the box, it says Animation and Comic Time, and it also says Top Secret on the top. I know anybody who's currently looking at the back card behind them will know instantly what it is, and I know if I look over which I'm trying not to. I won't, I'll know what it is also as well. Inside, we've got ourselves a spear. It actually looks almost like a tuning fork from that villain in Silverhawks. I can't remember what his name was, but he always would tune. It's not mumbo jumbo, but I'm trying to think of drawing a blank. It's obviously not from Silverhawks. It's a neat looking red kind of tuning fork. According to now the guide, the reference card that I'm looking at that's behind me, now that I'm just looking over and glancing, is the Evangelion Spear of Long Longinus. The Spear of Longinus replica. The Spear of Longinus is a weapon of godlike power in the series of Evangelion, created by the first ancestral race. An ancient extraterrestrial humanoid uh, species is an extraterrestrial artifact with the power to penetrate any AT field of any angel or Evangelion by all, all by itself. By all by itself. That kind of threw me off by the way that they worded that. Or Evangelion by all by itself. Uh, it is made of what seems to be metal. It has, I can't imagine someone's spent the time to wrap this, wind this up amongst itself. But it's a, it does feel like it is metal, and like I said, it does come inside like a little decorative case that you can display this. Kind of just line the grooves up and you can fit your spear in there. It does kind of look like a tuning fork. And you can just fit that in there for display purposes. There's a lot of extra packing material, but I guess for the way that they've got it on an angle, it makes perfect sense. So here are all the things, a breakdown, if you will, of the things that we got inside this month's Lutaku. It is actually dated from July. I guess they are maybe just a month or so behind getting their boxes out. But this month's box was entitled Playing God, Full Metal Alchemist, Dragon Ball Super, and Evangelion. Uh, the price, price breakdown, the Goku Rose, the Rose Goku Black, was $30 US dollars. Spear of Longinus Replica was $15. Lutaku Exclusive T-shirt was $20. The Evangelion Pin was $12. And Dragon Ball Adverge Mini Figure was $12. Collectively, if you add those all up and carry the one, you're looking at total estimated value of this box being $89. $89 US dollars based on the lowest online prices at the time of writing. So once again, with the Lutaku boxes, you really get your money's worth when it comes to this kind of stuff. Not everyone is going to be digging the anime vibe. And even though I don't really watch anime as much as I used to, back in the heyday, which, by the way, was a Wednesday, uh, back in the day, I certainly was all into anime. This would have been in high school and just a little after high school. Unfortunately, with human responsibilities and adult responsibilities always plaguing my life, I feel myself always being pulled away. Time is always of the essence. And unfortunately, I don't have as much time to get into anime as I would like to. But that's not to say that I can't get into some really cool anime statues and collectibles all of which that you can get by subscribing to the Lutaku box. Simply go to www.lutaku.com, subscribe today, and you will be in line for the next box to be heading your way. Now, I don't know, because this is the July box, 
I don't know if you will still be able to get the August box. It's very unlikely. I would imagine they've already planned and shipped out all their August box. So if anything, you'll be in line, uh, in the queue, if you will, for the September 2019 boxes that come out your way. So again, if you want to subscribe to the Lutaku box, head over to www.lutaku.com. Subscribe today. Do that thing. Mark it off on your checklist of things to do for today. If your checklist included subscribing to Lutaku box, you can do that right now. Also, if you want to check off another thing on your box, perhaps it was subscribing to this channel. You haven't done so already. Maybe you've been following this content for the last seven weeks or so, and you're really liking what this guy is putting out there. Thank you for that, by the way. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below, swing next door, and turn on the bell notifications so that when future videos are coming onto this channel, you'll never miss out. Don't be the person that misses out. Don't be that person that is left in the corner sobbing like a baby because everybody else is talking about the content that's coming onto this channel, and you're like, I didn't know he just posted that, and everybody kind of snickers and talks to themselves. <laughs> the guy doesn't even you know what he's talking about. Don't be that guy. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Like I said, more videos will be coming your way. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.